right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website. All right, man, we back. Goodfellow Sports TV up in the morning. I know how it go, man. Uh, getting in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, there's a lot being said about Manny Pacquiao. Um, probably going to look like he's choosing to fight Mikey Garcia. I heard they negotiate right now. Um, not sure what company they're going to do the fight with, to be honest. Uh, we should find out in a few days. I think uh, he said in his announcement uh, September 14th for Mikey Garcia. He's negotiating with uh, either Top Rank or, or PBC out here. And I also heard the zone is still trying to get Mikey over there. So, But, um, you know, we got people saying Manny Pacquiao ducking Earl Spence. Earl Spence ducking or Terrence Crawford ducking Kell Brook. And then Crawford, Errol Spence ducking Crawford or Crawford ducking Errol Spence. And for those who say, uh, Kell Brook, like, dude, just shut your channel down. If anybody tell you that, that Terrence Crawford is ducking Kell Brook, like, come on, man. Why would you follow somebody like that? Seriously, why would you follow somebody like that? Kell Brook ain't fought all year. <laughs> he ain't fought all year. And usually if somebody ducking, uh, ducking one of Eddie Hearn fighters, he'd have been saying, Bob, let's make Kell Brook. Like, it's common sense. It's common knowledge. Some niggas need to stick to talk about basketball. Stick to talk, talking about when they sold drugs. And they just get out the boxing game. You know what I'm saying? You know? Stick to talking about selling buildings. And, and stick, to, stick to trying to be a fake Martin Luther King or fake Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? But with Crawford and Spence, they should fight next. And the winner should fight Manny Pacquiao. That's how it should go. You know what I'm saying? But I heard from PBC Matchmaker, I just leave it at that behind the scenes, that they pushing for the year Dennis Ugas Earl Spence fight next. That's what they want, Ugas, but then again, Danny Garcia is ranked above him. And uh, Danny Garcia, I'm hearing, may fight, fight Austin Trout if Mikey get the Manny Pacquiao fight at 147 pounds. So, you know, Danny Garcia got an opportunity to fight Earl Spence in the top of the year because he's technically rated above your Dennis Ugas. The reason why they push they was pushing for Ugas to get the fight is because Danny was expected to fight um, Manny Pacquiao. Now that ain't gonna happen. It don't look like it. So you know, I rather really see Danny and Earl Spence next, but really it should be Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford next. You know what? I understand Crawford on the wrong side of the street. Bob Aaron spoke to fight hype. He said he wanted to get the fight done early next year. He also said the Wilder and Fury fight was a 50-50 split. Like, Wilder just fooling, bro. And I talk about that at the end of the, end of the video. He out here fooling, man. But that should be the fight. You know what? They don't need all four belts to solidify Undisputed, in my opinion. We we understand that if Manny, pa if Manny Pacquiao or Keith Thurman didn't want to fight, we understand that going back in history, it's just it's just a technicality to call them Undisputed. Call it undisputed. You know, it's a technicality. In my opinion, uh... Danny Garcia was undisputed at 140. Only reason he wasn't because because actually Lucas Matisse uh, knocked out Lamont Peterson, but they fought at a catchweight because I think Lucas Matisse didn't want to get the belt, IBF belt and then be dropped from the WBC rankings. So he wanted Danny Garcia that bad fight that bad that he passed up on an IBF title shot versus Lamont Peterson. So technically he should have been the IBF champion. You know what I'm saying? Technically. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they should they should fight now, Terrence and Earl. You know what I'm saying? Um, it should be a 40-40 split. Winner get 20. percent It should be a 45-45 split. Winner or or winner get 10. percent That's just how it should be. But people sitting here pushing false narrative. That's why I know Crawford put fear in niggas' heart. Earl Spence fanboys' heart. Some of them. That's how I know because you know what what I do notice is anytime somebody a threat. To somebody, uh, to somebody, to somebody's favorite fighter, no matter if they black, they white, they green, they yellow, who is he for? Oh, who, who did who did Earl fight? Or who did Terrence fight? You know, who who did Terrence Crawford beat? Who did Devin Haney beat to fight Lomachenko? Look here, if Crawford ain't whoop nobody ass, this should be easy work for Earl Spence. They don't want that fight. I'm telling you, the fan, the, the man fans, Negro Fight Fans TV, they don't we don't want that fight. They know what it is. 
they know what it is. Them niggas don't want that fight. They talking, they trying to use Kell Brook as a batting round. Like, dude, just cut the bullshit. One of them niggas need to stick to basketball. He barely know that shit. Alright? He need to be trying to cut, catch up with a real basketball talking RBE the breakthrough. Alright? That's real basketball talk. Or Carcino. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, catch up. These niggas pushing false narratives out. Nigga, you don't these these squares don't belong in our boxing circle. You feel me? Or these circles don't belong in our boxing square. <laughs> you know, but you know what? Fuck Manny Pacquiao. That's that's the point of video. Fuck Manny Pacquiao. Earl Smith Terrence Crawford fight. I, that's undisputed for me. It's a spectacle. It looked good. Bob Arum keep talking shit in the media. I want to make the fight. I want to make the fight. I want to make the fight. It ain't nothing getting made. Crawford don't have an opponent. Earl Smith's got to beat Sean Porter. Nothing, nothing is getting made. Make the damn fight. You know what I'm saying? And I heard they not trying to push for Crawford next. I mean, he caught Earl Smith. So I'm telling y'all, they pushing for they was pushing for you, Dennis Hughes, to get that fight. Somebody he should have fought a long time ago. And, you know, Danny Garcia could fight Errol Spence next, too, if that's what y'all into. That fight can be a, 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 a actual reality. It could be a reality, but Danny Garcia going to force the Austin trial, I heard, maybe this year. And then, you know, they can make Danny and Earl next year. Not Now, he ain't getting the Pacquiao fight, but they're probably going to promise Danny Garcia the Pacquiao fight after Mikey get it, if, if, they, if he go down on PBC. So they already planning for, for Earl to fight Yukis. Oh, he got a mandatory. So they already they already laying that down for that to happen. So just just face it. It is what it is for Terrence Crawford. It is what it is. They ain't not they're not they're not looking to fight him no time soon. You know, when people say, well, you call Errol Spence ducking and whatever this before. It's politics. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you with your man's and your man's punch somebody else, and they get the scrapping. Guess what? You get the scrapping too, cause you with you you with him. So you got some you liable. Like your kid going there and he hit he he throw something at an adult in the store. The dog gonna gonna whoop your ass, cause you liable. Cause you responsible. You with him. Same thing. You guilty by association. You with PBC. You know what I'm saying? You with Al Heyman, and if they don't want to make the fight with, with Terrence Crawford and Crawford's side is willing to make the fight, then what is that? Yo, your side of the street, your company is, is ducking. You a duck. You can say it's boxing politics, that's who you with. That's just who you with, and it's your fault. You have some responsibility on that. You you win, you you hired them to represent you. You did. But they're not looking to make that fight. Nobody gonna hold his feet to the fire. Neither they gonna make it another excuse. Nobody gonna say. Nobody gonna say he ducked. Uh, nobody gonna say he ducked. He ducked uh, Terrence Crawford. They could have fought early 2020. They gonna say, well, Yugas was the mandatory. You ain't gonna hear nobody saying or oh, undisputed uh, Trump's uh, uh, mandatories, which it don't. It's at the. Uh, it's, it's at the subjective. It's at the uh, sanction of bell body's discretion. You ain't gonna hear nobody saying that. They gonna sit there and try to rationalize where Earl Spence gonna fight Yugas. Man, don't be surprised they don't try to put that shit on pay per view too. Oh, we gotta support the two brothers and the, the, the Cuban brother and, and the Texas brother Earl Spence. Nigga, call the spade a spade. Call the spade a spade. Motherfuckers are duck. If you fight Yugas or Danny Garcia next and ain't no Pacquiao on the floor, y'all niggas owe me an apology. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Y'all need to bow down. And kiss my motherfucking feet. Because I told y'all old buck dancing, butter biscuit, you know, honey on my motherfucking biscuit head ass niggas. I told all these bald headed ass niggas, man. I told them. what I tell you? Like when your mama whoop you. what I tell you? I told these butter biscuit, bald headed, you know, used to be a dope dealer but snitched on everybody ass. I told them that that Manny Pacquiao, if he beat Keith Thurman, was not going to fight Errol Spence. It wasn't in the cards. You had a better chance to keep Thurman fighting Errol Spence next. Didn't I tell these butter biscuit head ass niggas? Didn't I say? Didn't I tell uh, the putting it down for the trio? I told these niggas, man. 
When Jesus said, I told these niggas I do this shit, I told them. Now they're going to turn into the Pacquiao hate crew. Like it was, like I told before, when we was fighting in the trenches with all the Pacquiao trolls and races and back when Floyd was going against Pacquiao. Like I told, like I told these fools before. I told them. I said, y'all going to go against the grain no matter what Keith Thurman did, short of being a raccoon. Y'all going to go against the grain on the brother. For Manny Pacquiao? Come on. We held up the division. The division held up a little, a little bit longer. Earl don't need to be undisputed to be solidified at welterweight. It's never been done before. Uh, undisputed welterweight have all four titles. It's been three, it's been two. Since they switched to the four belt format to have uh, have to have four belts to be considered undisputed, fuck it. Because he go up to 54, that's politics. He not going to be undisputed uh, with, if they don't recognize the WBO. You know, but hey, they gonna rationalize it. He gonna fight Yugis or or I rather just be Danny Garcia. He is ranked higher than Yugis. If Danny Garcia choose to, but I think Danny Garcia, if Pacquiao and Mikey happen on PBC, gonna hold out for Manny fight. So it'll be Yugis, and y'all sit there and try to say and try to dress it up and oh, uh, you know, Yugis the best available. Crawford ain't never beat nobody like Yugis before. Y'all gonna start saying the bullshit. Niggas forget a mere mind beat Yugis. But hey, niggas gonna start saying that. They gonna start trying to uh discredit Bud Crawford. Uh, you know, he ain't a nobody. And you know, after Earl Spitz be Sean Porter, he bigger than Canelo. Just listen, how do you listen to some of the stupidest shit these niggas say? Niggas be telling me what these niggas like, how do y'all even listen to it? It's real, it, it's beyond casual boxing talk. This is fetus boxing talk. These niggas got the brains of a fucking fetus. And they all fake. They all fake. And I'm just a nigga that keep it a buck. All these niggas fake, man. You know? Claim that's your man's, but you go against the grain on the nigga and throw his business out there. You know what I'm saying? That's your family, but you go against the grain. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going against the grain off their mans over a chick. Who does that? Right or wrong, if that's my mans, I'm riding with him, no matter what he do. You know, unless he do some, some child rapist type shit, then I'm, yeah, nah. But if that's your mans, never go against the grain of your mans. Especially over no chick. And then you try to profit off his misery, like, come on, man. Niggas, niggas is fake, bro. I can't believe y'all can't see how fake, fake these niggas is, man. I never go against the grain on my mans over no shit like that. But, hey, niggas be putting their business out in the street. That's on cuz. You know, but, hey, Wilder and Fury are 50-50, says Bob Aram on Fight Hype. I'll put the article in the description. He says it's a 50-50. Um, so, you know, Wilder gave this nigga a 50-50 purse for real, bro. Real talk. You a champion, and you taking a 50-50 purse versus a nine-belt holder. I guess they respect that lineal title more than I thought they respect the lineal title. Like, like, what is they doing with Wilder's career, bro? That's what you got to ask yourself. Where's Wilder's career going? You know what I'm saying? This dude got a 50-50 purse split with a nigga who don't got a belt, who just be auto walling, Tom Schwartz. He got no buzz in this country, even after he knocked out, even after he knocked out Steve Cunningham. He had no buzz in this country. None. And you gave this uh, English muffin a 50-50 split. Come on, bro. Come on. What is they doing with Wilder, bro? He should be the IBF and WBC title holder. Just a couple, just a few years ago, when he had, he got the when he when Charles Martin got that belt. If PBC was running now and they didn't want to make fights with Eddie Hearn, and they was always ran like just a network, they was never trying to make fights out their network unless it was really beneficial to them. And not the fighter, then if PBC was run like it is now, Water would have been a IBF WC champion back then. But to sit there and, and give 50 50, and then you tell Terrence Crawford that he don't deserve 50 50, he got a belt. But y'all gave, gave Tyson Fury 50 50, and he ain't even got no belt. That lineal title is garbage. He, got, he popped hot for steroids. That's a fact. He retired. Because he knew he was going to get suspended for steroids. That's a fact. 
So so cut the bullshit. Wilder need to reevaluate his team. Real talk. Wilder need to reevaluate his squad. No doubt about it. Wilder need to think about the people he got in his corner. Because at the end of the day, you didn't need the Fury fight that bad. Fury should have got a 40% split. Real talk. For ducking me. Real talk for ducking me. If you ain't about, if you ain't going to give me a 60-40 split, then I'm not fighting you. This nigga is a champion giving a dude that's from another country and his country a 50-50 split. How does that sound? Like, who is managing and, and promoting this career? If that's true from Bob Graham, because you, you, you never know with Bob. But if they do a 50-50 split, like, come on, bruh. And I understand he's not a, a dual or a unified champion, but he's still the longest reigning heavyweight champion in the division. He is. And, and you give, and you give this moose neck, uh, old clown 50-50, but they don't want to get Terrence Crawford 50-50 and do the fight before he fought Sean Porter. Tell me it ain't inconsistency. Tell me PBC ain't inconsistent. Tell me, tell me I'm lying, bro. Tell me PBC ain't inconsistent. I don't care if it's a heavyweight or a welterweight, bro. But they got a problem. They got a problem giving the brother 50-50 in Crawford. But they ain't got no problem getting the other 50-50. Y'all peep game? <laughs> they ain't got no problem giving the other 50-50. But they ain't giving no brother 50-50. <laughs> Shit crazy, man. Why do need to reevaluate who in this corner, bro? For real, man. Hey, Wilder's an idiot, bro. You signed, a, you signed two fights before Ruiz actually fight AJ, and you fuck yourself. And the Fury and Wilder fight, and even, I don't even give a fuck if it happened. When AJ lost, I was through. I was through when AJ lost, man. Because I want to see AJ and Wilder, and then, you know, then maybe Fury then, but I can't believe he gave him 50 50. And they bitching about giving Crawford 50 50. But it is what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiries, sponsorship, or video requests, share the videos. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Help Blaze, the Hellblaze.com. Promo code Good Fellow Unboxing, to 18%. Off the 100% all natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaps, bath bombs, deodorant, and much, much more. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Lesson today. Never go against the grain of your mans. Never turn your back on your mans unless it's some other crazy nut nut shit. You know? Never turn the back on your mans. I never trust a nigga who gonna put who gonna put your mans out there and profit off your misery, no matter what you did on that one. Never trust these niggas, man. Trust yourself. Like right before Tay said, he said, I never trust no one, I only trust myself, or I would have been a victim like everyone else. Bars, nigga, we out.